the craziest thing that I ever, ever did to a Trizic was, you know, I didn't shit on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know what I'm saying, me? We always in the present, but only for a second. You know, I just hit the table. That's the past. You know what I'm saying? It's over with. I Man. done that. Right. Everything we said in this conversation, we were no, talking, no. that's the past. This is all So, past. you know what I'm saying, me? You can't. You can't you can't relive the past, but what you could do is you could predict the future. That's why I said a man who failed to plan, plan to fail. You know, you must work your plan and plan your work. If you could do that, you know what I'm saying, as a young man or a young woman, and you can learn from Martina and myself, then you can go to the next level. You know, because there is other levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you ain't is. got to be stuck in the street. You once was in the prison system one time. I was in the prison system. You know, Ice-T was robbing banks at one time. You know what I mean? Robbing jewelry stores Correct. or whatever. So, you know what I mean? Everyone can elevate. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's the main reason for our podcast. Yes. That's the main reason why we're here. Transitioning. And we're not trying to glorify the game. But, you know, sometimes when you talk about stuff, you know, it's like it, it reminds you of certain things. So you might get a little Juiced. excited. I yeah. want to yes. man. I want to say, man, and this show about to be crazy, man. I know she's from the game. I'm from the game. And, you know, 99% of the people, man, she'll tell you, everybody will tell you that's real in the game. They use my, all that shit is mine. Hope of blow up, all them link, all that lingo out there. Most of that shit, that's the shit I created. I got the book to prove it. No, so a I lot of dudes, it. they read my book and they be quoting me to me, like, you know, like they me. And I be like, nigga, do you know who you're talking to? <laughs> well, Ice T used to quote. Iceberg Slim. Slim. So, you but know. I remember when when I read your book and I had I had people that worked for me, a white girl, all kind of people. I made them all read your book. We was on our way to Atlanta and said, all oh, y'all need to get this right here. And I got pictures to prove it. I, yeah. don't know. <laughs> I had all of them. They worked for my stores. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to read this book, man. We reading it. We reading it. Your book all the way to Atlanta. Oh, yeah. so, what but, was but, the white but, girl but, saying? A lot. Uh, she just Really, she was. She never. What does this mean? Yeah, that, what does yeah, choose yeah, up that, mean? Yeah, that, that, she but was see, the choosing. But, 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 but Tina, but Tina, on the on the flip side, a lot of women follow you too. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So I a lot love of women, young girls out there, I love that, all the you know, women. They use her lingo. Yes. So that was that was the reason why it made sense to me. I said, damn. And then you know when we was thinking about what to call, I said, let's call it a view from the game because you know everybody see me on all these podcasts and they hear me talking. I told my CEO. Brother Vado and I told uh, James, my national, I said, man, y'all gonna have to probably step up because I said, man, I'm doing this podcast. And I said, you know, I don't want to denigrate, you know, or denigrate or, you know, uh, taint the brand. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna step back so we can do this podcast. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? And I said, I want to yeah, do like it because, it. you know, I felt it in my bones and I knew it was the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? I said, this is the right thing to do. You know, it's just that sometimes Tina could be a little impatient. But you're a brand in yes, take it easy. Y'all yes, both work on that. Y'all both solid, solid individuals, man. Yes. So hey man, I'm 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 gonna end it with this note, man. How, but I do I, have a question. What? I'm gonna end this. I, I'm, I'm trying to get the mother two on here before they get out of here or they get or okay. this guy. I gotta they okay, with us. They also, <laughs> oh, so they gonna have to they gonna have to uh, No, I'm just saying they <laughs> y'all gotta y'all gotta get them. Right. Have any young ladies reached out to you in your inbox and be like, um, this is where I'm at. I'm trying to get out. I need to know, you know, how can I do this? Or even some young girls who are choosing to get into life and be like, is there another choice? Can I do something else? Um, I'm just going to tell them my DM is filled up with all those kind of questions and I'm not answering none of them. They got to read my book and find out because I'm not going to give you no advice and get myself caught up because I'm retired. Mm. I don't know who you are. That's real. On the internet, I don't know if you're the police. Mm, that's real. Asking me some stuff, and I say one thing, and I'm up short. I didn't play myself up out of my freedom. That's real. No, I'm saying the same thing. That's real. Answer, that's so real. I don't answer none you of those questions. You can't play them kind of games. I don't play them kind of games. I don't know who you, you can't. are. You don't know, you know who they are. These, these, these are slick, man. So, so I'm put not it in the book. No, yes, hey. whatever. Like I and got instructions. Jealous too. I have a poem called. Home in 101. Okay. And this one right here. I'm going to read this one to you. This okay. Is, uh, this is called SugarDaddy.com. Mm. I met a trick on SugarDaddy.com. I went to dinner. He gave me PPM, a thousand ones. We got to back to his place. I said, I need more money. There will be no GFE or getting in the sheets. I don't play that, honey. I need $10,000 stipend every month. I need payment right now. This ain't no stunt. 
I'm one of the best hookers you ever had, a, le- a legend, so it's going to cost you more cash. He looked at me and said, I got to sell my stocks and bonds in the AM. I said, so? So I said, I want your soul in reparation. He looked at me and said, you're right. He handed me a whip and he said, beat me all night. I beat his privileged ass till his skin was raw and bleeding. Then I disappeared into the night like a vampire feeding. Mm. I came back in the morning and broke him for all the money. I told him, I'll see you next month and I'll have plenty of honey. He smiled and said, that was the best cash he spent in a long time. I told him, I'm Hustle Mom, and I'll always stay on your mind. Hey, hey, Hustle Mom. Break a chick, break a chick. Hey, man, check it, man. (laughs) Just because of that poem you said, I thought about this question. What's the craziest thing you've ever had to do to a trick? Oh, my God. (laughs) It's some stories. The craziest thing that I ever, ever did to a Trizic was, you know, I didn't shit on the trick. <laughs> yes. Man, what, I mean, real, real? Yeah, you I know, mean, I had he a asked you to do that. No, wanted. he gave me $1,000, and he's a regular. Right. And um, he gave me $1,000, and he would, like, buy my food, what he wanted me to Right. So we, we go out to lunch and eat. And then when we get back to the room, he'll have this enema. That's disgusting. It's so disgusting. <laughs> and then he would put these, you know, those things that you put on I your eyes. The money, yeah, you got, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you go to sleep in. Uh-huh. And then he'd be like, you ready? And I'll be like, yeah, you ready? And then I'll put the enema in and then hold my booty cheeks together. And then when he say he ready... And then it's just an explosion. Oh. And he just sits there and wobbles in it. <laughs> and I get, you know, I walk off the bed. What the hell going on? And then on? I go in the shower, take a shower, and the date's over, and then I just leave. And he's just in there, just He stayed shit, like, in it when you walked out yes, the door? I look back. You know what I'm saying? He was just no. having a good old mud wrestling time. Oh. And you so, walked out with your money? I walked out with my money. That was it. Damn. I to see him once a month, you know? Every time you have to go out to eat with him, so he'll you get can. whatever food that he wants. Hopefully, it's all vegetables or something. No, he, sometimes he wants pancakes, and <laughs> you know, he might want a thicker texture. But that is so gross and crass. Um, but you know, it, you know, somebody got to do it. Everybody so have the, a different damn. fetish, you know. Somebody so, what's the do best it. thing that ever uh, a trick ever done for you that wasn't gross? I mean, what's yeah, we're going to take it to the other side. Money trigger, right. uh, bought me, got me a car, bought me an apartment. Um, just felt like I played on his emotions to where he couldn't even date me. He just felt like he needed to take care of me for mm. God. Wow. You know, and just, you know. You didn't even have to see him. He'll just send it. You know, I, I was seeing no, him don't sometimes. Sound like they but not dating stalker. him. Not dating him or anything like that. Just company. Just company and just feel like he had a, God made him feel like it was his responsibility to, save you. to take care of me. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, That's and I wild. thank God. Yeah, ask me the crazy and he shit was a judge. done to me. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, let's go with it. I want to hear this before we get off here. I got to hear what this. What about the one that started sea walking on you? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.